Nikki has gone online and is ranting about Israel, so on and so forth. Welcome back, you guys. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. You know, I bring you stories and viral videos so you don't have to go looking. So if you're new, remember to subscribe, all right? In her rant, she's shutting everybody up who's been talking about Israel and what is going on with Palestine. And she says, don't give commentary or give any comments whatsoever about things that you do not know. You don't know where all this is coming from, what is happening, and especially those in favor of Palestine. She has even claimed that Israel did not steal any land from Palestine. Okay. Now, I mean, it's not very expensive to get on Google. And even if the history of this back and forth um, situation between these two has been back, like you can date it back, right? Like it goes all the way, okay? You could at least have a, you know, a little bit of an idea if you, if you, even if you did not want to read long enough in it. Anyway, she has been roasted. Like many people have stitched her video and have given her their sense in fact more than sense for some people right and i put stitches together where even others explain why this israel thing really stemmed from and they brought some clarity with them okay and others claim she was probably paid for her to just come online and look this stupid those are not my words hmm. anyway let me roll the clips you guys are gonna watch and i'll be back don't talk about issues that you don't understand. Stop spreading lies that somebody else has told you. Israel didn't steal any land from anybody. Who can be to think that the children of Israel are not from Israel? Like, how? It makes no sense. And the fact that you can look at these videos of innocent people ripped out of homes, these 20 year olds celebrating on partying at a party, at a rave in the middle of the desert. Yeah, I just can't. Or 350 and like 2000. If you watch these things, You can see in these videos like 15 year old kids coming into Israel, Palestinians coming into Israel and learning and stealing. And every modern democratic Western country in the world has already condemned what the nation has done. Israel deserves it because this. Well, Allah Azim, you all deserve to rot in hell, but okay, let me explain. So you stole Palestinian land, and then with the help of the UN and the US, you made it officially your country. And then you started ethnically cleansing the indigenous people of that land. And then when they fight back, they are called, that's not all, no. You cut off all resources, you block all ways out of there, you... And the double standards is crazy. Y'all keep talking about women rights and, oh, it's the first Middle Eastern country to give women their rights, but against Palestinian, innocent Palestinian civilians, innocent Palestinian women and children, the shit we see every day in the media. How? Please go educate yourselves. Don't talk about issues that you don't understand. How much did you get paid to make this video? Genuine, serious question, because you cannot pay me all the money in the world to sit down and film a video and look this stupid. Now let's put it into simpler terms for you to understand, okay? Let's, let's try and simplify this as much as possible. You got lunch money at school, and every day you come to school, there's this one bully that snatches your lunch money up every single day. And after weeks of this, you're fed up, and you're like, I'm not taking this anymore. So, what do you do? You stand up for yourself. Oh my goodness, what a revolutionary idea. Because you don't want to be hungry at lunchtime again, do you? They have no water, no electricity, everything is cut off from them. At least you have, like, the internet, electricity. You can easily go and search this stuff up and educate yourself a little bit. There are parents holding their children's body parts in bags. But oh my gosh, it's so sad because you have to stay inside your home. A home. You have a home. A house. They've had that bombed and completely ruined from them. Israel didn't steal any land from anybody. Israel is a settler colonial. The academic consensus of settler colonial studies that the state of Israel conforms to the model of settler colonialism. When I say academic consensus, I mean that a majority of scholars working within settler colonial studies agree with this. This isn't some half-brained opinion that's been cooked out of nowhere. It is scholarly consensus. The children of Israel are not from Israel. So Google is free, and that's where I went. 
and I looked up prior to 1948, has there ever been a place on earth called, or a civilization on earth called, um, or, or named, not civilization, a land, a piece of land, a country, anything called Israel? And the answer to that was no. So then I looked up, you know, of course, prior to Palestine, what was um, Palestine called? And I got Canaan and some other, a couple other things um, that I didn't remember, but it was not Israel. Um, there has never been a place on earth that was named Israel um, that coincided with religious texts. So then I looked up, what is the oldest historical text, both, yeah, historical text that we have of the word Israel? And I came across, um, and I'm going to put it down below, um, I came across a tablet that exists it's an ancient egyptian tablet and in it is what they believe the first mention of israel um is and here's the thing about that translation because it's in hieroglyphs um they're unsure so how they came to the conclusion of we'll call it israel is that the scientist that they hired um was unsure about a hieroglyph uh he was able to make up make out the rest but there was one specific hieroglyph where he was just like uh, i don't know and um from what they had already come up with which was something along a, i i remember semi correctly it was like is dot sa dot ss something like something that would sound along the lines of like isisar or isar something like that and they were just like israel and they were like, okay, Israel. So they went by their knowing, their knowledge of what they had already known. And that helped them to figure out what this hieroglyph is. So even the oldest text we have of the word Israel is debatable because it's like, we'll just go with that. that, that that's how we, we came to that conclusion that this word is Israel seems right and our peers agree that it seems right it's close enough so we'll just say israel here's the thing about that text and the context clues around it is that it was not referring to a place but rather a description of a group of people who were nomadic so without land a nomadic group it was a description of them um they were called israel um or what we have accepted to be the translation that is Israel. This woman literally saying, how fucking stupid do you have to be to not understand that the children of Israel are from Israel is profound because it goes, it, it really is telling of how dangerous religious doctrine is. Okay, this is colonialism, what they're doing. There has never been... There has never been an Israel. Okay, it was Palestine. It still is Palestine. In, in actuality, when you actually do the research and you realize that the only thing tying this place is religious doctrine, the only thing tying that, like, that name to that place is religious doctrine, you, real, it, you come to the conclusion that this is fictitious and that children... Women and men are being ticed over some fictitious ass shit. You have a people who correcting them will immediately make you anti-Semitic, doing unto others what was done to them in the most horrific way. Please explain to me the logic of withholding water in hospitals reason why israel is doing what it is doing is because they feel like they are god's chosen people and that is their land and it's legitimately first of all i have mental health i have a mental health history okay as someone who's familiar with the uh, who i was in the system and all and like mental health phrases what i'm seeing is delusion and psychosis being justified because enough people agree on a delusion that's really it it's like the gen mess of entire generations due to psychosis psychosis and it's okay and it's not psychosis because enough people are going along with it 
There has never been a place on earth called Israel. I think this woman has a good lifetime schooling out of this because these are not the only stitches you guys that go away long. You get me? Anyway, I think she would look at her Google and be like, my dumb head. It could have just been better for her to share her own ideas about the situation of what is going on between Israel and Palestine, because that's what we reference, right? Without having to talk about people like shutting them up and then talking about did not steal any land. This just makes you look dumb, in my opinion. Now, I would like to know what you guys think, so comment below.